there, it's Kelly Schaffner. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel and joining me today for another unboxing. I unbox clothing subscription boxes and do a lot of my clothing shopping online. So I thank you so much for joining me to check out all the treasures that I receive and help me decide what to keep. Um, today I'm doing a brand new subscription. It's called Daily Look. And uh, my friend suggested this and I see a lot of Daily Look on Facebook. So I was curious and I checked it out. And Daily Look is a little bit different from most of the subscriptions I do in that they charge a higher styling fee. There is a $40 styling fee that will be applied towards any purchases that I make. Um, Daily Look uh, asks you to do a styling quiz about your um, your lifestyle, your sizes, your style preferences. And they did send me an email um, with the 10 to 12 items that they were going to send me. And I'll tell you, I, I don't know why the stylist thought that I would like these items, but there was a lot of things in my preview that were strapless and spaghetti straps and a lot of items that look like I would have to wear a strapless bra or go braless, and I'm not comfortable with that at all. So I declined everything that I could, and I wrote the stylist a note, and I hope this box has been amended because of those that feedback, but we will see. Um, they also sent me an email saying that they were putting a hold on my credit card for $150, and they said that this box is worth six to $1,200. Um, they're not charging my card $150, but they are putting a hold on it. So this is a really heavy box and it could possibly be a $1,200 bill. Um, so that's a little high, but let's open it up and see what's inside this box. So the presentation of this box is very beautiful, very simple, but very elegant. So let's open it up. And the first thing we have is paperwork. Uh, they do offer free shipping both ways, and you have five days to try this on and to decide what you want to keep. So I'm going to look at the price tags at the very end. I don't like the prices to influence whether I like the item or not, but the prices always influence whether or not I purchase an item. So we'll take a look at that later. And the first thing we have, oh, this feels like a fleece kind of sweatshirt. Wow, can you see that ruffle on the bottom? I am not a ruffle girl, but this is kind of a navy blue uh, sweatshirt. It's got some ribbon detail there. Um, and this is very interesting. That's what I will say because I am not a ruffle kind of girl. And now we have DL is Oh, is this a blouse this, or a vest? Um, this is kind of in a brown taupe color. Um, looks like it's got a drape front. Um, this will be interesting. I might have to read the style note on this and see what it is because I'm not quite sure. It does have some pockets, but they don't seem to be functional pockets. So uh, I might have to read the stylist note to find out what that is. This looks like something I received in a box not long ago. This is a blue and white striped top with tab sleeves. Doesn't this look familiar? This is by Corey, size medium, and just a basic button up. So I like that. We will try it. Wow. This looks like a kimono from Lumiere. A blue, no, it's not a kimono. This is a silk top with those great big roses and flowers. This has got some sleeve detail. And uh, this looks like something that I immediately will not like. It does have a tie on the top, but I am going to keep an open mind and try this beauty on. Um, Next, we have something in brown. I did tell the stylist, as I tell all of my stylists, that I like color. And this, this looks like something I might actually like. It's got a peplum on it, rather than, so it's high-waisted. It's got some interesting sleeves and a V-back with a zipper. Um, this is by 
aftermarket. Um, it's a brown, almost looks like it's got some green undertones to it. Uh, maybe it's olive in color. Yeah, it is olive. And the next, next we have an Olivia Gray. Uh, you know what? I don't see anything strapless right now, so it looks like they must have read my stylus note. This is a, looks like a fitted dress, Olivia Gray, in a burgundy color. This looks beautiful and kind of right up my alley. So I will try that on. Um, I have this sweater here by Lumiere. And, ooh, this looks cute. This is a beige sweater. It's got some black piping on it. And uh, it's fitted. It is ribbed, if you can see that. Uh, scoop neck. Huh, this looks interesting. I love the sle sleeve detail. So um, that's a lightweight sweater. Oh my goodness. I don't have any of these. Oh, this is a skirt. I thought these were the leather look. This is the faux leather. This is by Lorraine. A leather look skirt by Lorraine. It has a really deep uh, slit in the back. Hmm. Have a feeling my husband will like this one. So we'll check it out. Black tops, more than one. And this is a black t-shirt with some uh, tie detail. Um, in the front and nothing real unusual about this. This is by, uh, this is by DL, I mean daily look. So I will try that on for you. And another something in black, not my favorite color, but look at this. We have a cold shoulder, so you know I like those. And no sleeve detail. What does the front look like? This is a real plain black cold shoulder long sleeve tee, little bit of ribbing there. So that feels super soft. That might be a nice option. This looks pretty. I just like the fabric, but we have the great big flowers. Um, so this uh, is one of those high necks and it's got a keyhole back, uh, kind of a cross back and this is lined. So this might be a nice option if I can figure out what type of underwear to wear with it, what type of bra to wear with that. And the last thing we have is something in a royal or electric blue with a deep V in the front. Let me look at it. We have some ruffles, we have some draping, a tie detail there in kind of an electric blue color. You guys never told me what you think this color looks like on me. Do I look, does it age me? <laughs> I'm gonna try everything on for you and we'll look at the prices and let's see how Daily Look does. Okay, this is the dress that I thought I liked so much. This is Olivia Gray and it has a, it's, it's riding up a little bit. This is probably, I need to size up in this, um, but it has a really interesting hemline. I kind of like that and there's a little detail here, let me show you um, going down, but boy, I feel like I have no shapewear on in this dress and it feels very, very tight. I would constantly be um, adjusting myself in this dress. I think it might be a little bit short for my liking, but I do think it's a beautiful color. And uh, if I had somewhere to wear this, I would probably consider this dress in a size larger. Um, one thing about it, I think the holes, the arms are a little bit large. You can see my bra through it and um, that's not my ideal dress. This is the Lumiere sweater that I like so much and it doesn't disappoint on. I like this sleeve detail. I like that it's very clean um, and simple and could be worn with jeans. I paired it with this uh, leather look skirt by Lorraine. The slit is in the front, as you can see. It's pretty deep, but not uh, uncomfortably. Um, I don't feel like uh, I would be flashing anyone, so I think I could wear this. It does have a seam that goes around the back right here, and that feels a little bit strange as I'm wearing it. It makes it feel like the skirt is riding up, but it is not. The skirt does have pockets and it has a side zip. Um, 
I don't know. This is Lumiere, the top that I thought was a kimono. It's got very interesting sleeve detail, which I like. The sleeves are very long. It is a button up. I didn't notice that, uh, I think, when I unboxed it. And it's got this interesting tie detail up here. But this looks very pajama-like to me. And again, we've got the big flowers that I'm not crazy about. But the feel of this on my body feels great. So this is the aftermarket blouse and it is an olive color and it's got the interesting sleeves and I'm not real sure how I feel about those sleeves. There's a lot going on there. Uh, the things I like about this is the high-low, um, but I don't necessarily care for this silhouette. Uh, it zips up all the way in the back. That's not the easiest thing to put on. I, I think this is a little juvenile looking for me. This is the LS Ayla blouse. It's got the tab sleeves and the uh, sleeve when it's rolled up like that is a little bit tight. I don't know if I can adjust that, but this is the sleeve length when it's down. It's got the two pockets with the stripes going the opposite way. Look, it is uh, plenty big, but we've got gappage going on even when it's not pulling. It's uh, This is kind of not laying right. It's got a nice collared um, on it, but yeah, that should lay flat. This is not tight around my bust at all. Um, it's got a nice length. This uh, is the blue and white it, stripes, which uh, looks a little nautical to me, and it looks very, very similar to a shirt that I just received and my Natalie attired, and I don't need two of these. Here's that electric blue top by Daily Look. It's a really deep v-neck. We've got some cleavage showing and there's this interesting draping in the front which makes it add some interest to kind of a simple top. Uh, I like the way this collar lays. It doesn't feel like a ruffle. Um, of course it's because it's knotted it's higher on the front lower in the back. Um, I uh, I like everything about this top, but does the color make me look washed out? Um, so what do you think about this top? This, this is a contender for me. All right, this is that sweatshirt uh, hoodie type top uh, with this satin peplum uh, coming out of it and the ribbon detail, the satin ribbon detail. Uh, Boy, I don't know what they were thinking with this one. Just not liking, not a thing about it. There are no pockets. I just, um, it's just kind of, it's finished. That's nice. That's a nice touch. And let's move on to this daily look. Black tee, long sleeves with this tie detail in the front. There is a lot going on there. Cleavage, more cleavage showing. Uh, pretty tight, but pretty simple other this makes it interesting. This is that uh, wrap vest by Daily Look, and I'm wearing the Michael Stars cold shoulder black blouse. And you know, this, uh, I think I wanna like this vest. Um, I like the draping in the front. I just, there's no way, it does, I don't think it, this, uh, it looks very, I wonder if I, no, I, see it has to be wrapped to be worn and um, I just don't know. This is something I have to fool around with and figure out how to tie it and um, how I would wear it. But it does have pockets. I'm not going to um, cut them open, but it does have pockets and the inside is finished, which I always like. So this feels like a quality piece. I'm I just think I would have to fool around with it and I'm going to have to do that before I decide whether or not to keep this one. And this, uh, this black cold shoulder I like much better than the last black tee that I tried on. I think it just fits better, it's a little more forgiving and I sure like the cold shoulder detail. This is a very simple top that I would definitely get a lot of use out of. Um, not that crazy about black, but this is a really versatile piece. My last clothing piece is this blue tank with the big floral print on it and it has kind of the 
racer back in the back and uh, it's kind of that's something going on there, a keyhole to show my bra <laughs> that I will be wearing and I think uh, I'm going to need a specialty bra with this. This uh, blouse is lined and it's got the great big floral and I think I like this big floral better than any floral I've received thus far. Maybe it's the lighter color. This would look much better with uh, jeans or a white slack. I, I like this blouse, but I'm not sure if I like this blouse because it's a great blouse or if I like this blouse because I'm just not real crazy about this box. All right, guys, I um, have opened up and looked at all of the paperwork that they sent. They, they uh, send you uh, what to do. Um, I've got five days, send it back when I'm charged. Um, I've got my return mailer, which I will be using, and a really thoughtful note from my stylist, Allison, which uh, describing all of the pieces and how I can put them together, a note saying that they use UPS rather than the post office, which I prefer the post office, but I'm willing to drop this off. Um, I did want to see the size of their return bag, and it is a large bag, which I think I'm going to be needing a large bag. Um, so they sent 12 items. I have looked at the price, prices, and I, I should have shown you my reaction. It, it, it made me break out in a sweat. There are 12 items in this box. The grand total, if I buy everything, is $942. The um, least expensive thing in this box is $64. And... Uh, um, it's, it's, it's just a really pricey box. So ladies, I've decided just to put the prices in the video as I'm trying on the clothes because this is a really long list of prices and I don't wanna um, spend any more time on prices. I'll just tell you one thing. I think they're high. I think they're incredibly high even when they're sending me pieces that I've received from other subscription boxes and the pieces are about $20 more than uh, comparable uh, brands. So the there's that $40 uh, styling fee that I don't want to lose, so I am considering keeping either the black cold shoulder top, which is $79, $78, or that cream colored sweater with the tiered sleeve, and that is also $79. So I'm out of pocket, another $40 to purchase one top, and I'm not feeling real good about that. Please let me know what your thoughts are on daily look if you would try this subscription if i should give this another shot normally i do i always give them at least two shots to get it right but i'm i'm not feeling good about this uh, i welcome your feedback your comments if you have not done so already please subscribe to this channel i love to see you here again and if you hit that bell you'll be notified every time i do a video or an unboxing and i thank you so much for joining me Thank you very much. God bless you.